Okay, now you've read the question. The car was on cruise control, which means the speed doesn't change, but the car is turning. So before you go and do anything crazy, like say the acceleration is zero because the speed's not changing, just wait and let's fill in our givens, okay? The initial velocity of the car was 20 meters per second. 20 meters per second, of course, is just a speed. What direction was it going? It was going north, 45 degrees west. Since the car was on cruise control, the speed didn't change, but its direction did. It ends up going north 45 east. It was going northwest, and it turned to go northeast. So the speed is constant, but the velocity is changing. The direction is just as important as the number. The question is to find the acceleration part A, and to find the acceleration part B, given that the turn took 10 seconds. So, Obviously, we're going to start with part A. It means we want to find the acceleration. We don't care at all about the displacement. The important thing to realize here, of course, we've got B1, B2, A, D, and T. Those are the variables that are in the big five equations. This is just a big five problem. It happens to be in two dimensions, northeast, northwest. We're going to have to use vectors in a more complicated way than we did before when it was just up or down, left or right plus or minus. Now we're going to have triangles, Pythagorean theorems, components, all kinds of other fun things. But fundamentally the problem hasn't changed. I'm still going to pick the formula that doesn't have d in it, which is the original one. v2 equals v1 plus a delta t. If I rearrange that, I call it the original formula because it's really just the definition of acceleration, right? Acceleration is v2 minus v1 over t. I'm going to dump in my givens just like I always do. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to be careful and I'm going to include the directions. North, 45 east, minus 20 meters per second, north, 45 west. All divided by 10 seconds. I've learned how to add vectors and to subtract them. I know that 20 minus 20 does not equal zero because we're now in vector math land and we've got to be a little more careful. So let's get rid of the 10 on the bottom and let's get rid of that minus. So I'm going to divide both sides by 10 which is going to make it 2. I'm going to divide both sides by second so it's going to become meters per second squared. So my next line is going to say 2 meters per second squared north 45 east. I just divided by 10 seconds. I'm going to change this to plus because we don't really know how to subtract vectors. We just add the opposite. Minus 20 northwest is really just the same as plus 20 southeast. But I've divided by 10, so 2 meters per second squared south 45 east. Again, I don't add, I don't subtract vectors, I just add their opposites. I change negatives so that they're pluses. And now I have a vector equation, which is very easy to add. Northeast plus southeast. And I know how to add this. If I had given you this as the question, what is 2 meters northeast plus 2 meters southeast, hopefully you would have had no problem answering. The tricky bit is to realize that the big five are vector equations. I can dump in any kind of direction I want as long as I follow the math rules that I've been taught. Now it's a simple matter of adding these two things. Should I make a little diagram? Sure. It doesn't have to be to scale because northeast and southeast, it's going to be a right angle triangle, isn't it? Both 2 and 2. So let's say I started here. And I went 2. And this is 45 degrees. Now I'm going to go 2. And this is 90 degrees because this is 45 degrees. Southeast. 2 northeast plus 2 southeast gives me an answer, which we used to call the resultant, but in this case it's A because that's what we're trying to find. And the acceleration is just this side. So this is a nice, simple right angle triangle. So the acceleration is going to be equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared, which is root 8, which is 2.8 meters per second squared. What direction is this in? Well, it is an isosceles triangle, so this is 45 degrees. This must be east, right? So therefore, the acceleration is 2.8 meters per second squared east. 
The velocity changed. The speed didn't change. The number stayed at 20 the whole time, but the direction changed by 90 degrees. And that means that the acceleration does have a number and is in a direction that is east. It went from north west to northeast. It curved this way, which meant it accelerated east on average to make a turn. That's the average acceleration, of course. That's all for part A. Part B, I'm not going to actually go through all of, but part B, we're asked to find the displacement D. So, I'm not going to solve the whole question, but for part B, looking at our givens, let's not use the formula that has A in it, in case we made a mistake. V1, V2, and T, we know that displacement is V1 plus V2 over 2 times delta T. I'm going to sub in my givens one more time. I'm going to get a different equation. I'm going to get a different triangle. But when all is said and done, my final answer will end up being about 141 meters north. That's how far the car is going to travel while it turns from going northwest to northeast. So that makes sense, logically, that it would end up traveling north. But you don't need to think about it, you just do the math and you get the right answer.